They also recognize that there is a significant bipartisan component to all of this. However, it also became the experience of the authors drawn to this particular kind of comedy, or rather, it was their experience. When you work as a writer, producer, or director, your goal is to gain ratings. Life carries on mostly in the same manner. Those little victories are what bring us happiness. There could be more to see. It's not like they won't argue with you or assert your superiority over them. We produced an episode of Good Times based on a newspaper item, stating that black males are more likely than white men to have hypertension, and that this frequency is on the rise. On the side, I've been working on a few movies, and the big ones mean absolutely nothing if you do not amass all these little victories. However, they may be making a livelihood by doing a variety of other things. They were divisive among those who represent the interests of the American people. Of course, a lot of money is made by the authors, directors, producers, and that community. It was always the case that we accomplished some things very brilliantly and others rather badly. There are many nonpartisan activities going on, yet nobody questions my partisanship. People understood me very well. I think, since the performances were activist in their own unique ways, the union of my work activism with my public activism, you know, little joys are what make up life. That right was essentially ours. Thus, we produced a series in which James, the good times father, suffered from hypertension. It is thus not so much the violence, as it is the escalation and recurring pattern. Our nation is known for excess. The CEOs of General Electric, News Corp, Viacom, and this enormous global company that wants these ratings are sitting at a great, great distance. That originated with the business and personnel. Even if I won't stay, I have to have a look at anything when I hear it's awful. I pause to observe traffic collisions. TV that no one will ever watch. That massive global businesses will never get their hands on. And that will never cover your wage. These programs will air even when they have no idea who Nixon was. Money talks louder than words in our country. In my opinion, leadership starts with a higher moral duty. All of them are either men or women who have had similar experiences in their own lives. Real controversy didn't really exist with all in the family. It was a terrific time, and that's what life's all about, having fun. The beginning of leadership in the field we are talking is on Madison Avenue, at the desks and offices of those who spend hundreds of millions of dollars on items that will increase their ratings. That's basically it. American viewers didn't find my programs all that provocative. Three times they sought to interrupt. He said that's not what he was doing, and that I was the stupidest white kid he had ever encountered when I yelled back at him that he was demeaning a race of people by calling me lazy. I was unable to get my way for years. We received ratings. Early on, it seemed to us that the greater the audience's concern, the more real individuals we were dealing with minus 240 on average. If you could make them care, they would laugh more intensely. It's possible that you'll witness another TV program. I didn't want to be pulled off the broadcast for an Act 1 curtain while we were on. Too few of the major ones show up. At first, with all the concerts, we went in search of good laughter. My dad, however, said that I was the most lazy white child he had ever known. My intention was to perform a 26-minute one-act drama with commercial breaks. As a result, we tended to choose programs, topics, and causes that touched individuals. Perhaps they still agreed with Archie Bunker. After all, you can only influence people's thoughts, not their beliefs. I don't believe we fought unreasonable, but as long as you remain powerful, your ratings are high and you're reasonable. Despite not having the finest education, Americans are fundamentally quite clever.